And speaking of students who shine, Mel Camp is heading back to the classroom today. She is getting a lesson in music. What's going on, Mel? Yes, well, look, I found Angela, and she's a singing teacher here at Vivaldi Music Academy, and she assures me I can sing, and we've been practicing with this little, very basic lesson for singers. Mm -hmm. It's called the siren, so we're just going to go from the lowest pitch you have to the highest pitch, okay? Okay. Demonstration? Yep. Ooh. Okay, try it with me. It goes... But over the hall, Aurora has been two years in with her piano lessons. I'm going to head over there and chat with her. That's coming up on Houston Live. Welcome back to Houston Life. And if you're like me, through that whole break, you're thinking, how is it going with the music lessons with Mel? <laughs> I'm so stuck on it. <laughs> well, if you're just joining us, she has been at Vivaldi Music Academy's new location in the Heights, celebrating their 10-year anniversary. Mel, we think we know how it's going. Ready? We're right. Ooh. <laughs> We've been practicing your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you. I think you have it. You need to come here for some proper lessons. But um, oh my goodness, I am feeling like I'm on cloud nine right now. I just, I didn't even really think about the whole emotional aspect of just being able to express yourself with your voice. And also with the keys, I have Aurora here. I mean, I've just started my music lessons, but Aurora, you've been doing it for two years now, learning to play piano here have well at Vivaldi in Sugarland you go to their other location what do you love about playing the piano um, I like hearing the songs that it makes and um, high and low notes oh my goodness well I just started singing and I feel like when you're learning an instrument a lot of work goes into it how has it been for the last two years learning something that you didn't know anything about when you started fun and exciting yeah. Oh my goodness. That's, that's how I would explain learning any instrument, even your own voice. Fun and exciting. And Leanne, you're Aurora's mum. Yeah. Why did you decide to offer music as an option for Aurora? Well, I've always grown up around music. My mother was a piano teacher for 18 years, and so I learned to play just a little bit, but she doesn't live here with us, and so we wanted Aurora to have the opportunity, just like I had growing up, to learn to play the piano. And Vivaldi is just right around the corner for us in Sugarland, Texas, with five locations. You can find one easily um, that's closest to your home, and so we started piano, and she has just taken to it and really loved it so much. So you were playing when you were younger through your mom who's a piano teacher but now who's better? Oh my goodness for sure Aurora is so much better and she teaches me all the time like every day. Oh you really? You teach your mom? <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness I think we should get to hear you playing some of this because you over here you're playing a very difficult song now when you first looked at this you thought there's no way you'd be able to play it. Right. How long did it take you to learn? Uh, a couple of weeks, yeah, maybe. Couple oh, weeks. so practice makes perfect. You're still practicing because coming up in June, you have a recital. Yes. Shall we get you to get, get, on, the, get on the keys? <laughs> Are you ready to hear Aurora play? Okay, spin around. We're going to make you play. Practice playing in front. Oh, this is amazing. All right. Are you ready? playing and keep practicing because you're going to have your recital on June 4 and this is just really amazing. I've got to say if you have ever wanted to learn an instrument or even learn how to sing it doesn't matter from 1 through to 100 plus you can come here to Vivaldi Music Academy and learn. It's never too late. Lauren and Tessa I think we should start a band. I'm calling. Are you, Are you in? We shouldn't start until we get lessons from Vivaldi Mel but we definitely need to head over there because listen to Aurora. 
she's amazing. Tessa, did you ever play any instruments? I Someone... did it. The only instrument I ever had was this voice. And yeah. I was in choir for a little bit, but I was obviously very loud, alto, even though I was trying to sing Mariah Carey, <laughs> trying to hit the soprano in the shower. notes. I would be so disappointed. I'm like, why can't I hit these high notes? But it's okay. I found my voice was uh, useful for other Elf things, elsewhere. so that's okay. Yeah, but you're never too late. Like they said, you're never too late no, to learn an instrument. We should. Sure. We'll talk about it. Okay. <laughs>